This week, I want to teach you guys how to crochet the pearl slip stitch. This is a two row repeat pattern, which I love, and I think this stitch got its name because it resembles knitting. If you like stitches like this that resemble knitting, you can also check out my tutorial for the waistcoat stitch, which I'll link in the description. This stitch is basically just slip stitching into the front and back loops only. And whenever you crochet into the front and back loops, it tends to resemble knitting. But by keeping this a slip stitch, it really emphasizes that because it keeps the stitches really tight. For this stitch, you can start with any number of chains. I have 26 here. You're going to begin row one by slip stitching into the second chain from hook. So that chain right there, you're going to insert your hook into the chain, yarn over, pull through one loop and then pull through that other loop. And that is a slip stitch. And then you're going to work a slip stitch into each chain until you reach the end of your chain. Again, that slip stitch is just inserting your hook into the chain, yarn over, pull through one loop and then pull through that other loop. Insert your hook into the chain, yarn over, pull through loop, pull through one more loop. Insert your hook into the chain, yarn over, pull through loop, pull through one more loop. And I'm going to fast forward here and meet you at the end of this row. When you reach the last chain, work a slip stitch into that last chain, and then you're going to chain one and turn. There are two loops at the top of each stitch and we normally insert our hook into both of them, but right now we're going to insert our hook into the back loop only and otherwise work a slip stitch as normal. So insert your hook into that back loop, yarn over, pull through loop, pull through that other loop. Insert your hook into the back loop, yarn over, pull through both those two loops. Insert your hook into the back loop, yarn over, pull through those two loops. And so you're hooking in the back of the back loop only, yarn over, and then pull through both those loops. And so you're hooking to the back loop only, yarn over, and pull through those two loops. That's it for row two. You're going to work a slip stitch back loop only into each stitch until you reach the end of the row, and I'll meet you there. We finish row two by working our final back loop only slip stitch into that final stitch and then chain one and turn. For row three, instead of back loop only slip stitches, we're gonna work front loop only slip stitches. So insert your hook into that front loop, yarn over and pull through those two loops. And that's your front loop only slip stitch. So insert your hook into that front loop, yarn over, Pull through both loops. Insert your hook into that front loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. Insert your hook into that front loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. And that is it for row three. You're just gonna work those front loop only slip stitches until you reach the end of the row and then chain one and turn. I just wanted to fast forward and show you what this stitch looks like after you have a few more rows established. This is a two row repeat pattern. So we're back to repeating row two, which is working the slip stitches into the back loops only. And then after that, you'll do a row of front loop only slip stitches and just repeat those two rows until your project reaches your desired length. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider giving it a like and subscribing. I release new crochet tutorials every week.